okay good morning today i'm gonna show you how to make my burger patty from scratch what you need what i need is um i got this ground beef and we love what we love about this is organic but of course this is from our uh, favorite uh, store costco so what you have to do is mix this one this beef with pepper same brand Costco brand chopped onion garlic and the magic seasoned salt Larry's okay and of course we have I put I put also here the bits of bacon the real bacon and the bacon itself helps to make your patty like uh, it, it, it will taste good it, it will taste nice so now so mix everything on your desired amount of all these ingredients and uh, next is to press to form it like a patty like this like this so you have to do is you need to have a presser so we determined that two thirds of a cup is the perfect size for this whole thing, for this shape. So this is two thirds of a cup. You might see some excess, but look, it's perfect. And I have here with me as a thin one, just to guide, take it out from the And put this separator. This is to avoid st sticking each other. So, hola! There it is. Here we are. We're gonna cook the patty, the burger that we just uh, made earlier. So, uh, cooking burger or grilling burger has like a few secrets that my husband taught me. And it will make your burger really nice. So uh, first, I will put this patty over the fire or direct heat for a minute or two until it's like it's cooked and flip it over. And the reason why is uh, the juice itself inside will cook uh, will cook the uh, will cook the burger. So two minutes is over. So we'll check. If what it looks like, yeah, look at that. We're flipping it the other side. This makes our burger the juice locks inside and let the juice cook your burger. So, after this, after two minutes or one minute or two, we will uh, move this burgers or body here is in, in indirect heat and we'll. Uh, cooked it slowly. Wow, look at that. Now it's ready. This four burgers are ready to, to take it out from the direct hit to the indirect hit. As we as I said earlier, the rest of the cooking will be indirect hit. So now you can see, and at this moment, this the juice are already left inside and the juice is making the burger cook by itself. So what we're gonna do, now it's in the in, in direct heat, we have to we need to close the grill. Not to fully close it, leave a little bit a little bit um, opening here for the air to come out. So we're gonna check the burger. Oh wow, look at that! So if you can see, the juice is clear, it's done. One more secret that my husband taught me, when cooking burger, don't ever ever smash the burger. You know why? Because when you smash it, you let all the juice out. So in this case, we let the juice cook by itself, cook the burger itself. And remember the bacon inside, that's, uh, that's uh, the, the fats or the juice from the bacon also helps. So. Uh, so now everything is done and I'll show you what it looks like. 
So they cut it. Okay, here's so what we got. It will make the burger. So of course we have the bread, the tomato, cilantro, the onions, and the patty. And we'll mix all together with, with of course, mushrooms, with cheddar cheese, a mustard, and mayonnaise. And there you are.